Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Ergo Josh and you're in for a real treat today because I'm giving you a tour of my new studio setup. Now, I like to call this studio my spin studio sometimes because I have split it into two parts. The left side, which is for my editing. This is where I get all my work done. This is where I do all the boring stuff like editing my thumbnails and all that. And over here, this is where I stream. This is where I do all of my drawing, digital and traditional. So I get it, I get it done guys, I get work done here. But in the back, we got the entertainment center. This is where I recline and chill out, have my lunch break and all that, so. That's pretty much it. Let's just go ahead and get started with the real tour. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is my studio. I wish I had a wider lens to show you everything at once, but we're gonna go wall by wall. Let's start off with the back wall that has my door. <laughs> this is my door um, entrance into the studio. That thing in the bottom there is just something I use to keep um, sound out and also helps with keeping bugs out because this house is really new and the bugs still think that they live here. So this is my Elgato green screen. I don't really use it much right now, so I keep it there. It's nice and out of the way. This is really just the storage corner of my room because no one really sees it. It's just the back wall. <laughs> This is the book bag I use actually, someone wanted to know. It's the North Face Caban, but right now I'm actually just using it to hold all of my cables <laughs> that I don't need anymore. So that's all that's in here. Those are some sound treatment foam. I, from Oralex, I haven't used even two thirds of it, but I definitely do plan to use more of it once I figure out what to do um, with the rest of my wall space. This is a piece I did in architecture school, and I'm sure you recognize this right here. This used to be what I use for my um, my whole entire setup when I was starting. Um, this is a Sirui monopod, not too expensive, and it's pretty, pretty decent for being a monopod. It's actually pretty sturdy. It never falls by itself unless I hit it or something like that. And then you can see at the top there, that's the Manfrotto video head. I don't use that often, but I'm definitely gonna use it for this video to do some of the B-roll. And then behind little fake plant here, we've got a really nice stand for your cell phone. If you wanna do shots with your cell phone, this is the best one I found. It's by Me Photo. Um, it's perfect, it's sturdy, and it seems to support a lot of different sized phones. And I think they actually make two sizes, so. That's really cool if you want to get into using your phone for different shots. So now we're going to move on to the main studio wall. This wall is uh, the most important, has all the most important stuff. Um, I'm going to start off with my camera setup, which is very, very newly updated with much needed updates. It's a regular three foot Manfrotto tripod. Um, and it actually has a neck that goes up and then I use the same old Sirui horizontal arm that I used to use with my monopod and that arm just extends quite a ways. It's actually, it shows you um, little measurements right there if I can get it to focus and it extends one way and then you can tighten it and it can extend a little bit more but I actually don't need it to extend that much because it actually didn't extend enough and so what I did was I got these little small rig tubes and those tubes connect and then eventually I put my uh, my ball head which houses my camera which is the Sony a6400 perfect camera for this top-down video format if you want to film in 4k and um, it sits right there and it has a little bit of bend to it but if I can show you guys a little bit it, it can wobble you know it can bounce a little bit but it's pretty sturdy I've never had any problems with it tilting this is just like look at that I can just hit it super hard and nothing even happens it just it just wiggles and that's it so I really love this um, <laughs> if you've already noticed the cable management here is pretty crazy I mean the cable that powers my camera that I'm using to film right now is just at my feet right now <laughs> um, this is actually what I used to power this camera but I needed something longer and um, I just have all these cords wrapped around the top of the uh, the tripod here and they feed into the camera one goes into the camera so that it can go straight to my computer and then one goes into the power and then that one allows it to be powered um, infinitely so that I can stream for as long as I want so onto the actual wall itself I have some sound treatment here um, I think it made a pretty decent difference this room when I first started moving stuff into it it was very echoey but now it sounds a lot better um, I just wanted to treat the direct first reflection if you know anything about audio 
the reflection points are really what you want to treat and this helps me do that and so the table the table is actually just a typical ikea table i think this was like what 90 bucks because i wanted these fancy metal legs um, but it's a really really nice table i think this is a great table if you want to do anything similar to what i do um, this table is very resistant to damage and wear and tear it's the linman tabletop i believe um, and on top of it i have a giant mouse pad from glorious pc race i think that's what it's called <laughs> um, it's gotten a little dirty because i've had it for a while and used it at work but i'm still able to keep it clean enough so that it looks perfect on camera for my videos um, and then on top of that of course i have the star of the show my ipad pro let me actually that's right there i'm using the ios using the ios uh, 13 beta on it right now um, enjoying it i'm on i think beta 7 and the beta 7 i think is the best beta so far because it fixed all the problems that i've noticed except for i'm not sure if the file management system is perfectly working with procreate yet but hopefully they get there <laughs> and you can see my logitech k380 keyboard Bluetooth, which is key because I want to be able to use everything and move everything around and not have to have too many cables, more cables than I already have sticking out here and there. Um, this is just the typical iPad cable that goes into uh, my power bank that you're going to see um, soon when I show you the cables. This is my white Logitech um, MX Master. 2s mx 2s master mx master 2s or whatever <laughs> um i really love this one it's great it looks really good with the um the black setup um that i'm using now and uh it really catches a lot of people's eyes and i love using it just got to make sure that i don't eat any cheetos when i'm here <laughs> because this setup is very very prone to showing dirt and dust and crumbs and everything like that um and then over there we have something that's very important as well this is my hand lotion which is key to making sure that my hands look perfect on camera you know i can't have my camera my hands looking terrible and that you guys can't enjoy the artwork <laughs> um, and then this is a new addition to my studio this is my ziyun crane 2. Um, i use this to house the camera i'm actually filming with now and it is the placeholder for my face cam that i'm going to start using a lot more often for my twitch streams um, so i really like it because i can easily change the camera angle and move it around and show you guys more of my studio setup um, but yeah it's it's basically a glorified tripod but i love it <laughs> and there you can see those are my sketchbooks and my pens and pencils and some more pens and pencils in that case over there um, you can see my stream deck i have barely configured it yet but i can't wait to start using it for editing as well it has so much potential to it um, right now i just have it to use to start and stop my streams and end mute the microphones and all of that i love it it's nice looks great on the desk and it stays out um, of the way this monitor this monitor is actually super super awesome this is a samsung space monitor it's pretty new i love it because it's so minimal it just fits and clamps onto the back of your desk i can put some fake plants on the little piece right there it looks great um, it's 32 inches it's not too great of a screen panel when it comes to quality it's not ips and it doesn't have the widest color gamut but i think it looks fine and it gets the job done for me because i need something big this is what i look at when i'm looking at references this is what i look at when i'm looking um, at you guys in the chat for live streams it does the job so well i can have like three four different monitors on there or screens on there rather and then i can actually use it to see and preview what this camera is looking at i can plug the hdmi into this uh, monitor right here and then i can also plug my ipad into that monitor to see what i'm doing closer up when i'm working so it's it's just super super useful for my setup and then also on these tables we have these are the uh blue studio microphone boom arms i really like how they look and i love how they work they're easily they can hold a lot of weight they're they're pretty tough and they can really really get tight um, with all of the different knobs there's actually a screw inside you can tighten as well i have my sure sm7b here for my vo voiceover work um, i don't really use it for live streaming and stuff because it's a little bit too sensitive 
and it's fantastic because it's basically built for canceling noise. You can see I have my fan on here. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it because I'll have music, but this thing won't even pick that up. It'll just pick up directly what's in front of it, which is what I really, really like. And over here, I have the Rode NT1. Um, this microphone is great because it's, I think it's marketed as the quietest condenser microphone. And condenser microphones are different from dynamic microphones in that it picks up sound a lot more. It needs more power, but it can pick up sound much, much easier. Um, and it's what I use for when I want to do some more ASMR -y voiceovers or capture the pencil sounds on my on my little screen protector here. So <laughs> it really does a great job. And then what's under my desk is just my little storage slash ottoman here. Um, I got on Amazon for like 40 bucks, super useful. I use it to keep everything that I don't want you guys to see here. <laughs> it's just spare stuff like my spare microphone. I actually have two of these microphones and it's super great at just putting stuff away really quickly so that you can show the space off to friends or just feeling like you're in a brand new space again. <laughs> and you can see there the cable management. Let's actually, I think I'm gonna have a little moment here for the cable management that's still yet to come. <laughs> it's really sad. I don't know, I think once I get my last piece of furniture here, that corner will look a lot better. That is actually my old table that I used to use in my um, old studio tour. And I don't really know what to do with it, but I don't want to throw it away because it's still in like pristine condition. So <laughs> if you have any ideas, leave them in the comments for what I should do. Also, a big part of my studio is my lighting. So these are two Elgato um, lights, the key lights. Um, I'm sure you've heard me talk about them in my other video. These lights are fantastic. I can actually use my phone here to control them. If you look at this right here, this is the control center app and I can use it to basically just turn them off at the press of a button here. And then you can tell that they're already off. I can turn them back on. Let me actually show you. They're off. And then if I can just use this, yep they're back on so i love this and i can change the color temperature and they're angled perfectly to make everything super even lighting and it's just great they're pretty expensive 200 dollars a pop but it gets the job done for me i don't think i need any like super serious studio lighting setups <laughs> for anything else this is my secret labs <laughs> it's upside down this is my secret labs um titan 2020 chair i love it this is the soft weave version um this is actually the chair that uh Caleb City uses if you watch his videos on YouTube, but <laughs> I really, really love how it looks. It just, I love grays, whites, and blacks. Those are like my favorite colors. And so um, it's super comfortable. This, this material is just, I definitely didn't want that leathery gamer look. I love how this chair looks. And you know, I find car seats the most comfortable chairs to sit in. So it was perfect for me because if I sit in a car seat, I'm knocking out like, <laughs> <laughs> within seconds of the drive so this has been perfect and it can recline all the way and it's just great for when I want to chill um, and it's also got great lumbar support there you can see it's coming out pretty pretty far there and it's great for when I'm sitting down at this desk drawing um, sometimes I forget to set it up and bring it all the way out and I can just do that and my back feels a lot better so on to the fun wall. I'm actually sitting in my chair here. This wall, I feel like has so much potential, but I'm still in the progress process of filling it up. But this is like the entertainment part of my studio because that has to happen because I need entertainment. <laughs> but it's also it's also functional. Um, so at the centerpiece, we have my Samsung Q70 LED um, TV. It's 4K. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> I love this feature that it has where it has all of these different um, loading screens and screen savers and pictures that you can use. I actually had to get this TV because once I realized that this room, as you've noticed, it has no lights and that can be pretty depressing if you know, you're in here for super long amounts of time without having sunlight. So I wanted to get a TV to really open the space up and feel, make it feel like it's a lot bigger than it really is. Um, and what it's sitting on is 
probably my favorite thing in this entire studio. Um, it's called the Maison sideboard, which is, it's just a sideboard, a fancy thing to put your TV on. But I really, really love this design. It's awesome. Um, I use it for storage for a lot of my stuff that I thought I'd be able to show off, but I can't. And I use it for keeping all of my boxes because when you do this kind of stuff, guys, you want to make sure keep your stuff in pristine condition, keep the boxes because selling this stuff is really easy to do when you do that. Um, but yeah, I love the feet on it. I feel like it has this like Incredibles design language to it, which I really, really like. Um, and of course it's black and white, so I had to get that version. And then at the sides of the TVs, we've got my Kanto U6 speakers. Um, these speakers are great. I wish I got smaller ones like the U4s or the U2s, but hey, I got the biggest ones. <laughs> um, they're fantastic. I love the the crispness of the audio that comes out of them and they're super, super loud. I can never use them at full volume. Um, they're super um, versatile too. They can hook up to my iPad, they can hook up to my TV, they can hook up to my computer all at once. And I just use the remote there to switch back and forth. And speaking of my remote and what's on top of my sideboard here, let's go from one corner. This is just my Parappa the Rapper little <laughs> little doll here. Um, I want to get more stuff like that to kind of bring some parts of my childhood back into this um, just to make everything more cozy. These are two little gifts I got from my friends. This is one from my best friend. She, <laughs> she got this mug done for me because of, you know, it says Ergo Josh, you represent, right? And this is the actual very Apple Pencil case that came with my Apple Pencil. I'm keeping it because I might end up selling this when they release something new, I don't know, but it's also nice to look at, you know. And that's my actually, the glasses I'm wearing from Warby Parker. This isn't sponsored by them, but I really like the case, so I put it on, on, the, on top of the table. Um, and then that's my remote for the TV. Some random really pretty chopsticks that I found. Uh, let me actually show you guys what they look like. I think this is a pretty cool design. I can't wait to have like more fun stuff like this in my studio, but it's like super bland and minimal right now. And then this Xbox controller, there's actually no Xbox here. This Xbox controller is actually from my super old Xbox 360. Um, I love how it looks. I just wanted to have a little bit more character and a little add a little bit more fun and color to this space, so I brought it here. Um, I don't really think I'm going to get an Xbox again, actually. <laughs> I'm looking at if I'm gonna ever get any gaming consoles, I think it's gonna be a Switch first, and then maybe a PlayStation, but I don't know if I'm ever gonna get an Xbox again. <laughs> so rest in peace, Xbox. And then on top of my one of my speakers, I've got my um, Mix Pre 6, which handles all of my audio from my two microphones over there. And so you can see this cable management right here, it's got all kinds of cables. There's one going to my computer, there's one going to my speakers, there's one going to um, both the microphones, two going to both the microphones, and uh, I really like it. You can see it's reacting right now, like do 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 do. You can see it's reacting to the to the sounds, and I really, it's just perfect. It gets everything done the way I like it. No no struggling, and it keeps all of my audio in just a really simple setup. But of course, you don't need something like that if you want to get into this. You can just use a Blue Yeti, and trust me, no one's gonna complain. <laughs> And the star of the show, another star, um, let me actually move my standing table down so you can see. All right, so this is my computer. This is really quite a beast. It's not as beasty as like some other PCs out there for video editing and stuff, but for me, I think it, it's, it's <laughs> pretty much overpowered. Um, so it's got 64 gigs of RAM, DDR4 RAM, we've got a GTX 2080 Ti in there by Asus, and then we've got a i9, Intel i9 9900K overclocked to 5 gigahertz on there with a NZXT Kraken 62X and a Asus Hero motherboard Maximus Wi-Fi <laughs> and a 8 terabyte, um, what else? 8 terabyte WD Red hard drive, Samsung 960 one terabyte hard drive in there, or sorry, SSD, and there's another SSD in the back um, that holds just one terabyte, um, which is what I use to actually 
just crank all of my footage onto and then edit from there and then push it onto the um, hard drive. I used to have a white PC that had a NZXT case, but I switched it out to this fractal design case because I love how it's super, super great at canceling noise. Even with the top open, um, you really can't hear it when it's idle. And then if I actually raise my standing desk again, I feel like this is just <laughs> me showing off. Um, let's get on the floor, guys. Ugh. You can see my, again, my terrible cable management, but this is actually, um, I think it's called the Ekit. I don't know if it has a better name than that, but it's like a storage container. And I got it from Ikea and I want to get one for that side of the room, but it has these like pop open doors and I can use for more storage. You can see some of my favorite video games in there. Um, some more sketchbooks and notebooks and just a lot more storage for other things. You can see some tripods in there and the actual case for my um, camera that I'm using, my Sony um, a7 III. Let's go back up and we can finally look at the last wall of my studio setup. So for the last wall of my studio setup, I only have one thing, which is my actual working desk. This is the desk I use to get all of my work done, my video editing, answering emails, editing things in Photoshop, everything like management and production that I need to do um, that's not related to drawing or sketching, I get it done here. So the main component of all of this is my Jarvis standing desk by Fully. I really, really love it. It's, it's perfect. It gets to a really incredible height actually, which is perfect for me. I'm not really that tall, but I like to keep it a little bit higher so that my hands can be, my arms are perfectly parallel with the desk and so I can easily use it, get up, get my blood flowing when I'm sitting here editing for like eight hours at a time, which is no exaggeration. And um, I can just at the press of a button, find like a memory setting that I've had and then press it and it goes down. Super cool. So I can get into my chair now and then scoot back towards the desk and I can get to work. And so let's start it from the left. Um, this is my Samsung key charger. It's not for iPhones, but I really love how it looks. So I got it and it works. <laughs> and then over here, we have the Corsair um, headphone stand, the RGB gamer one. I really love it. And uh, I love how it actually has all these extra USB 3.1 ports. I'm not using them yet, but that's part of the reason why I got it. And these are holding my Sennheiser HD 660S open back um, headphones. I love these, these are an upgrade from my M50 X's from Audio-Technica and I love them because they have a great sound stage. You can actually pick out the location of the instruments when you're listening to music and it just sounds perfect when you're trying to get the clearest, best representation of the audio that you're creating. So, such as my voice, when I'm recording here in my studio, I love to listen and hear how I'm sounding live with these on. And then over here we have a little plywood um, lamp that I made in college and it has a LifeX bulb in there. Just to use it to add a little bit more color and vibrancy to the space. And then we have my two serious awesome LG um, monitors. I think they're the LK something, U something, 850 something. <laughs> um, this one is actually slightly better than this one because they upgraded it a year after and I couldn't find this one again. But they're actually 4K IPS displays and they have a really wide color gamut, super vibrant. I'm sure you can even tell when I switch my, when I just filmed that screen and then you can see the greens in the trees and then compare those greens to these greens. They just look so much better. And um, I really love the thin bezel and how the bezel is hidden behind the glass. Um, they're both held by my Ergo Tech monitor arms, heavy duty, because I, I'm just paranoid about my stuff breaking. But um, I love them. They are very, very sturdy and keep my monitors up. I can move them all the way down to where they touch the table if I want, but I like to keep them at this height and this angle um, because it, it's just a great experience I found for me. And then you have here my keyboard. This is new. I actually got rid of my gaming keyboard. I gave it to my dad, but this is my um, Logitech Craft keyboard. I love this audio knob here. This is just perfect. I use it all the time and you can actually um, pause and start from there as well. I can use it with my iPad. It has three different um, 
modes that I can switch to so I can use it for my iPad, my TV, and my computer. And that's the same exact thing with this one as well. So wherever I am, whatever I'm doing, I can control everything all at once, which is what I really love the studio for. Super versatile. So over here we have my humidifier. This is by Blue Hills. Um, it actually has a remote you can see on the top, which is really cool. And it gets this place smelling really great and it it can get a little bit stuffy in here. Um, I can really easily get a dry nose and um, it's great for opening up my sinuses. I have one in my bedroom as well. And it's when you put some, some uh, scented oils in here, it just smells great in here. And it's like such, such a great time to be in here when you've got some eucalyptus going on, some lavender scents going. Um, I've got this uh, candle warmer here as well. This is Eucalyptus Mint by Burt's Bees. Um, but it's not nearly as effective as I would have liked, but when I really want to get some aroma flowing around here, this is what I use and it's great for that. And you can see I have my Warby Parker glasses case here. The glasses always need to be cleaned. My car keys and my wallet because like with my shoes, sometimes I just need to get up and go right from my studio and I want to have everything here. And of course, more fake plants. This is Ben and Jerry, <laughs> say hi. And then we have my second, yes, second MX Master 2S mouse. This is the gray one to match my keyboard. Um, this is the one I got first. It's got, I've had it for at least a year now and it looks perfectly fine. And uh, yeah, that's that's how I get all my my editing going. I love that side scroll wheel when I'm in a Adobe Premiere Pro and uh, I can just stretch out the program to the whole width of my two screens and just edit it away and just be in editing bliss and get in the zone. And in this lamp, this is just a random cheap lamp from uh, Amazon. You can find any lamp like this. It's just 20 bucks and it has a special Bluetooth light bulb in there. Um, it's by Lucero and yeah, I just like lights guys. I just like hot pink and neon colors <laughs> for some reason. Um, but yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it. I have my extra little camera bag here for my even more nerdier camera stuff. Um, but that's all that is there at the bottom with the one cord that powers everything that you see on this desk and more. <laughs> Whoa, okay, we're back with the tour. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please leave a like and subscribe if, you, if you're interested and you're like, really cool, I like what you got here, Josh, I'm gonna support you then subscribe. <laughs> but if you're interested in the details of what I have here without, you know, I haven't explained all the stuff that's really going on behind my computer there that's really making all this work. Um, if you are more interested in that, then I will either post the details in the last few seconds of the video, or I'm going to send a link down in the description where you guys can get a spreadsheet and look at everything I have with all the prices and a little bit of a customized list for you guys who want to do something similar but don't want to spend the thousands and thousands of dollars that I've ended up spending <laughs> to get all of this done. But if you want to get the minimal stuff but still have the look that I can get with my content, then you should check that list out. That's really it. Um, until the next video, guys, stay positive, keep drawing, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Leave your entries in the celebrated pro. Now our submissions in the next episode of Why.